Welcome back to Inside Wildcat Country. Part of what makes UNH athletic teams so successful is that chemistry within a locker room or within a coaching staff, the feeling that you're not just part of a team, you're actually part of a family. Well, here in the fall of 2011 at UNH, two literal family members are turning Wildcat Country into what you would call a lion's den. The UNH field hockey team concluded the regular season ranked inside the top 10 in the nation and earned its second straight America East regular season title by posting a 4-1 conference record. On the football field, the Wildcats enter November also inside the top 10 in the country and look to extend their postseason appearance streak to eight consecutive years. But these two teams share a much deeper bond than success on the playing field. On the gridiron, it's first year defensive coordinator John Lyons the second winningest head football coach in Dartmouth College history, victorious in 60 contests from 1992 through 2004. Coach Lyons left Dartmouth in 2005 but returned to the college game when he was introduced as UNH's defensive coordinator on January 21, 2011. That move allowed Coach Lyons to be closer to his youngest daughter Kyle, who happens to be in her senior season as a member of the UNH field hockey team. I mean, I was really happy for him. Happy for him because I knew it's what he wanted and what he's been thinking about for a few years and getting back into where he belongs, I think, in college was really important. And him and Coach Mack have always been close friends, and so that was really fun for him. Well, I've known Sean for a number of years. We uh, first started working together uh, back at uh, Boston University in the mid-'80s. And uh, uh, after, after we left there, I always... Uh, had stayed in close touch with him and we had a chance to compete against one another when I was at Dartmouth for a number of years. And then the fact that, uh, you know, we had been coming down here a lot because Kyle was in school and, and, and playing here. So uh, just the last couple of years we've been down here quite quite often. So when this kind of came, came about, it just seemed like the right time. And, uh, made the move. Although conflicting schedules of a Division I defensive coordinator and a Division I student athlete make it difficult to find family time on campus, the Lions make every effort to do so. Every time I pass there, I, when we go to lift or whatever, and whenever I'm here early before practice, I'll always go in, but I'll peek in and make sure they're not doing video, but I, usually I'll even go in then. <laughs> She'll pop in whenever she's coming through the uh, offices, and whether she has to lift or has a meeting or something. So, and I usually we either talk on the phone or text one another. And what we we've, we've been trying to do, and it's just only been recently, spend one night a week, maybe go grab a bite to eat together for dinner. But it, even that's hard because of both of our schedules. On the road or competing in his own game every weekend during the fall season, Coach Lyons finds it difficult to attend Kyle's games. But the luxury of being on the same campus gives a father the opportunity to see his daughter compete in her final athletic season. Coach Lyons will give his input to his players on the football field, but he approaches field hockey in a different fashion. I've never been one who says a lot uh, during the games. I just like to go watch the kids play. and, and um, uh, Particularly with field hockey, I've been watching it for a number of years with all my daughters playing it, but I, I still don't completely understand all the rules. I just kind of like to go watch and then talk to them afterwards about, you know, how, how they think they played. And it's a nice break, you know, from the football, which, which is pretty intense around here. And, uh, you know, whenever she needs money, she's, she's sure to she hit me up. So, <laughs> With two older sisters who both competed at the collegiate level, sports have always been a large part of the Lions family. And like most Division I athletes, Kyle's love for competition began at an early age. Since as long as I can remember, I was... Whenever I could throw a ball, I was throwing with his players at Dartmouth and just always around them and always going to the games every Saturday with my family and just sitting there for as long as I can remember. I've been always loving following him and loving what he's doing. Even when she was young, when uh, uh, I'd be watching recruiting tapes, she would always just sit down and watch it with me. And I really was kind of surprised how perceptive she was about looking at players and trying to uh, Geez, he's pretty good, Dad. And I say, yeah, he is. <laughs> she knows quite a bit about football. Sports has just always been what we do, what we know, or what I know, at least. The most important thing to her is her team winning, and I think she's a very good competitor in that regard. And I think she's willing to do anything to help her team win. And I think as a coach, that, that, that's something that you, know, you, you want to have in a player. So who drives this passion for sports that Kyle has? No offense to my mom, she's a cheerleader. Um, <laughs> definitely to my dad, definitely. And just, you know, reading 
articles about him and following him has just been really fun for me, like looking up to him and then being able to do what I can with it has been really special for us. Fans, November is making a difference month in Wildcat country. Help the cats make a difference with Military Appreciation Day. All veteran and active duty military members and their families will get into the game at a discounted ticket rate at the following events. For more information, visit UNHWildcats.com.